Howdy, my name is Oatmeal Lint, and this is Let's Play EU4 Japan. <clears throat> yeah, I still don't get that right every time. Well, anyway, <laughs> where we left off, we were in a war with we were in a war with the Mali over here in Africa for their money. We'd noticed that the Swahili have even more money to extort, and are probably also quite weak. They have six military level versus the Mali's six military level, probably in the same military group, if not even some other worse military group. Now, in order to get a CB against them, we're probably going to have to do what we did to the Mali, which is get a colony next door to one of them, and fabricate a claim on one of their provinces. That's fine. Another thing that we decided to do last time was it's about time to vassal the Iroquois. Not only will that give us a score of having an Iroquois as a vassal and also the money that they probably are making out of all this fur, pretty wealthy up here, but, or some piece of the money, especially when we switch into the feudal monarchy, which will increase the income from vassals. But, we're going to be losing the Cherokee. That'll bring us down to two, because no one wants to be our allies, two diplomatic relations. Once we also um, take out these Damios. Another thing that we noticed a few videos back is the Ming no longer exists, so we could take over all of Shun and then release the Ming. They'd be Shinto, not Confucian. They'd convert all their provinces to Shinto, and then eventually we'd be able to diplo annex them and have a huge, relatively profitable um, chunk of Asia with, rel with no overextension. That would be great. So, definitely the plan. And we don't care if they're Buddhist or Confucian or anything, because they're all the same to us. Those are the three, those are the two fronts, Africa and Asia, and then on the American front, we have colonists heading to here and here, leaving this as the only province in the south central United States that can get a colonist, un an unwanted colonist. I don't think it's necessary to send a colonist here because we could always block them in like this with this province and this province. However, if Portugal did. I mean, Portugal is... France already spurned our offer of alliance. We, we got the alliance for a few months and then they set us as a rival. Hopefully Portugal does not do the same. I believe Portugal's sending all of its colonists over into Africa, which is fine. I have no interest in Africa, aside from extorting money from the natives. With that said, I believe we can um, get started. We could pick up this administrative tech. Huh. I would be interested in this technology, but right now I'm more interested in getting the idea group. I decided I was going to pick up expansion ideas, so we're going to pick up expansion ideas. Now we have another colonist. Now what we do with this colonist... I'm gonna go ahead and send him here. No reason to let there be any shot. If I'm just about to seal it, I might as well completely seal it. I, I think that Spain is probably in distance, France and Portugal to this location. We'd noticed that the Dutch and the British have started colonies up here, which means we have until they core them 
take over the Iroquois and, and make some sort of seal here. I don't really... I don't really think we can completely seal them, but we might be able to do something with the Iroquois. Definitely is time to declare on them. That being said, I want to start the annexation process on these two, which I have to be at peace in order to do. So... I want to start that before I declare any new wars. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this war up. I don't know exactly how much war score I'm gonna need. I think it'll be somewhere around 70. Oh crap. These guys... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these guys off here because they're suffering some pretty serious monthly attrition. Yeah, that's problematic. Once they take this province, I'm going to send these guys back to deal with those. Because Gabu is the war score contributing province. I wouldn't be so worried, except it is, it is actually the war score contributing province. So, I'm going to send these troops onto dry land. Hopefully, with the new western troops that I have, they will make short work. And hopefully, these guys will be able to get home. Didn't realize that that was costing so much. So I'm done westernizing, so all those horrible western events, westernizing events, as well as the increased stability modifier is over. That being said, um, what kind of inflation am I looking at? Uh, it's, it's not nothing. It's getting kind of up there. Um, I need a master of mint. He's the one that... I'm still gonna gain the inflation, though. Mm. Let's go exploring! That'll get me some prestige, but more than that I can see... How far away is this? So there's no way I can get this without getting fleet basing rights from Portugal. Will they give me fleet basing rights? We're not that far from getting fleet basing rights from them. If we got them into a positive opinion, they probably would just give it to us straight away. They're enemies of the Mali. Huh. Weird, they don't even have a border with Mali. Yeah. They do have a nice chunk of Morocco, though. I'm gonna try to get fleet basic rights off of them, as opposed to getting a colony down there. Oh, well, I'll still have to get a colony down there, but as opposed to, like, putting a colony here, and then over here, I'm just gonna get fleet basing rights from Portugal, and then... Do you have any allies? No, no allies. I still need to see this, because I need the adjacent province um, in order to make the colony and then get fabricate the claim. All that good stuff. Well, let's head over to our war. What all is going on over here? It looks like they're... Hmm, okay. 
So I said as soon as these guys were done, I was going to run them over here. I would like to peace with them. At this point, I'm going to call off my diplomat from here. Because I don't need to improve relations anymore. Let's see where I stand in terms of how much gold I would get from them if I were to peace out right now. What are these guys doing? They're allied with the Maya? Weird. Okay. Guess my vassals can ally with each other. It doesn't make no sense. That makes sense, I guess. Like, inner vassal war. Okay. Let's see what kind of peace they're going to be willing to offer right now. So I know they have around 3,000 gold. Mm. So to get all their gold... Oh, they, they'd make a pretty generous peace offer right now. Hmm. To get all their gold, I need to be at 76. That'd be, four th that'd be about 5,000. And right now, they'll give me... Hmm, 3,000. With each war score being worth... Go ahead and take it. Uh, there'll be more wars with them in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Start the annexation process over here. Might as well not worry about the rebels. Thought those rebels might have dissipated, but I, I guess they didn't. Wow, um, I'm not gonna run these guys there quite yet. I'm gonna let them recover some morale. They almost lost to those natives, or whatever they were. I have my diplomatic reputation guy still on there. So. In just a little bit, I will be able to start the annexation of those guys, and maybe even simultaneously the annexation of these guys. Make a royal marriage with them, so that'll be plus 25, and then. Yeah, unfortunately, it takes a long time to travel over there, so. Hopefully I could start annexing them before the annexation of the of the Damios is complete. But as soon as Hmm. Actually no, that's that's yeah, that's that's a pipe dream, because I need this diplomat to go and declare war on the Iroquois. Hmm. How long is this gonna take? Not long. It's only gonna take six years. Probably won't happen before. What I'm actually going to do is... Hmm. What to do, what to do. I want to go to that war with the Iroquois. But I want to annex the Cherokee as well. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna wait to go to... I'm gonna wait to go to war... With the... I'm just gonna wait to go to war with the Iroquois for a while. The danger is not immediate. The, the threat is not immediate. The, there's still several years before they'll have these cord 
I don't have any any rush. I don't think anyone else may even know about the Iroquois. Yeah. What kind of kind of deficit am I running? Not that big a deficit, so. I'll be running a bigger deficit when these guys get there. One of these colonies will finish, and then I'll be running a, a pretty big deficit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start annexing this way, annexing these guys. So I'm increasing one per month over here. here let's try to, let's try to work this out. Now that's going a little fast. One per month over here. I can get 25 from a royal marriage, but that'll that'll take a while. What I'm actually gonna do I've never tried to abort an annexation attempt before. I could slow down the annexation process. Hmm, I definitely want an advisor. Could slow down the annexation process by swapping out this guy. <sighs> Let's do the math. This is gonna be done. If I don't start annexing the Cherokee before these two are done annexing, I'll never annex the Cherokee, because that, that'll reduce my relations with them by 60. So this is going to be done in four years. Actually, a bit more than four years. Let's just call it, let's just call it 50 months-ish. In that time, I can improve my relationship with the Cherokee by 50. That's enough to start the annexation process. But just barely. I can make a royal marriage with them, but probably isn't really even worth it. Probably takes that long. So I am going to have to swap out this guy. I am going to have to slow down the annexation process. Okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't go away. I'll stop him back in a little bit. See, now I'm going to have more time. Two more years. That's good. Because once I recall from the improving relations with these guys, it's going to be... Okay. Now, as for these troops over here... I'd love it if the Mali declared war on me, that'd be great. So I should be running a really big deficit now. 17 only. I guess getting that extra colonist is allowing me to hold another colony. That's pretty nice. So what to do with these guys? I can't get over here. Oh, I can? No, it's not going to let me. Once I find out that that's Portuguese, it's not going to let me walk through there. So he can just wait there, or I could disband these two. I really don't have a CB against them. Not sure what to do. Well, I could definitely recall a colonist from somewhere and send him somewhere else. I do believe it's time for the Should 
Did I worry about Connecticut or Narragansett? No, I pretty much sealed this off. Let me go ahead and recall this guy. Um, recall this guy. Send him over to Asia. Probably this province, or maybe this province. Apparently I still can't see those provinces. The reason I'm going to go ahead and dismiss these troops is I want back my... Ah, uh, Conquistador. It's the only way to get back my Conquistador. Because, like, aside from, like, doing a whole lot of boat work. So I want to see... These just aren't that appealing to me. This is okay. 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 I get the impression that... This, however, might be better. So we have some cogs here. I was going to transport these guys over to Taiwan. Okay. And then, once I transport them over to Taiwan, what I need to do is... These are all... Infantry? So I need to build, assuming that I have the manpower, I believe I do. Yep. I need to build some cavalry. And some artillery. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can afford to run this big of a deficit. My army maintenance is going to start getting up there. Soon enough I'll have the CB against these guys. Now, I do believe I built some badass ships. Some not early Karaks. So I'm going to go ahead and equip my Conquistador here, so that he can explore these two provinces, because I do believe one of them might be better. Being said... Yeah, I do believe one of them might be better than... Wool! Hmm. I want to see the price of wool. Oh, Texas is producing wool. Sweet! Which has a high demand and a pretty good price. Weird, because... Definitely not a wool producing place now. It's got this amazing delta for fruit. Although I, I don't really know. Sugarcane, we grow a lot of sugarcane. But. Well, fine. This is not any better than, say, here. Sorry, I reflexively pause, even when I don't really need to. <laughs> Did it again. So, the best looking place here, um, with a base tax of 3. I'm gonna go ahead and send him there. Yeah, it's better than this place. I'm gonna split these guys up, send two of them over to here. Now, this colony is about to finish in... 
Well, this colonist isn't going to take too long to arrive, so unlike before, I think being a lot closer to completion is better. Especially because I'm really hemorrhaging money right now. Oh, I guess this guy arrived. I don't want to lose the stability, so I'm not going to. This guy arrived, so now I'm really hemorrhaging. Both of them did. I see. Well, that's no good. Because <laughs> I'm going to add another one to it over here soon in, in 100 days. Now, this should finish up in 100 days, so I should keep hemorrhaging at 41 per month. Yeah, it did, so. I'll go back to 41 per month. I have to quorum to be able to build troops there. So that's another reason to quorum. Okay, so this... The annexing process, annexation process... Not quite to the 190 that we would need. They must have upgraded their troops. Yeah, they're at 10 now. They upgraded their troops. That's why it's... But they're not... I don't know if they're westernized or not. I don't really know how to check either. Let's see. He's in the North American group. Whereas myself... Oh, no. East Asian group. It doesn't say on that. Hmm. How would I check if... What some what technological group something is in? With my vassals. Well, I still I know it's a tribal democracy. Hmm. Has technology group new world. So we know that they're still their troops are useless, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If it ever came to a war over here, their troops wouldn't do anything. They can westernize. They they do have a core next to a core of a western nation, being me. Hard fought. At least I'm not getting those pop-ups about... What's it called? The, um... I'm not getting pop-ups about, oh no, losing trade benefits of sugar and slaves and everything. Well, they didn't even core this, and they jumped over here, so their trade range is amazing. Or they have fleet basing with Norway. One of the two. Something I might do is vassal the Iroquois and give them... Well, if I vassal them, they won't be my religion. If I just vassal them straight up, they won't be my religion. I wonder if I completely take them over and then release them, if they'll be my religion. Or if they'll go back to their own native religion. It's worth a shot. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the provinces, completely annex them, and then release them again as a vassal. Let's see if they'll be Shinto. The reason that matters is if I wanted to say take these provinces and make a line, a Canadian line, but it be the Iroquois Canadian line, so that I don't have oh well actually Yeah, I just have to take I just have to give these two to the Iroquois. These are some profitable provinces up here. Connecticut, Massachusetts. Probably would even produce wool. Maybe not fish. Maybe, maybe not, not wool. Maybe fur. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this tech. Enables some stuff. Barracks. wonder what that does. Well, it doesn't look like I can build an A because I haven't been building the things before it. 
requires, ooh, iron or copper, 100% goods produced. That would be pretty good. I would build one of those if I could. Do I have any iron or copper producing places? Looks like I do. Have a solitary iron producing place. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and build it. Let's keep track of these. And the Cherokee. I'll have to overshoot by a bit. Because I don't know, unless I do, unless I recall him in like January, I don't want to lose, like I don't want to get to 190 and then lose three and then have to send him back to go to something else. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to allied with Imigawa. That must be one of my damios. That's it's definitely this one, because I know that this one's called date. Date being an English word, so. I can pronounce it. Better. Incorporate Maya. Well, too bad it doesn't say incorporate someone I might actually consider. Anti-piracy act. Better relations over time. No cost. Okay. Maybe that'll impact uh, the speed at which I'm increasing relations with this guy. Seems to have done something. Quite a bit up now. Wait a second. The penalties I was suffering from having annexed vassals previously all just disappeared when I clicked that anti piracy act. Hmm. Not sure why that is. Well, that's good. That means I can afford to grab this guy before he disappears, which will increase my annexation speed. So that's that's nice. I wonder if you make a decision if that always clears up, or if that was just something about the Anti-Piracy Act. Oh. My shog my female shogun, sh shogunato. I don't really know. She's really good. He's fine. He's 25 and she's 21. The only thing is I don't really want the stability trap, so... Probably would be worth it, though. Yeah. They're actually equivalent as far as total number, so... And military is starting to become important. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and not make him into a general and kill him off. Also gonna go ahead and boost stability a couple times. That'll uh, increase my score by one, well my, my ranking thing, by one per, so that's non-trivial. As well as, there are other benefits to stability, aside from just increasing my score, although that is the one I was going for. Should also increase my income slightly. But I do need it, because I'm hemorrhaging. My army maintenance has gotten a bit out of hand. I'm gonna go ahead and decrease it right now because uh, I'm not at war. Hmm. I'll increase it back up before I go to a serious war. Although, honestly, I don't really know how many serious wars there are. There's probably just uh, 
getting down on by France or Spain, that'd be that'd be serious. Incan Patriots. Hmm. Spain is uh oh, these stupid events. So Spain declared war on the Incas. That's fine. Portugal is already at war with some people over here. And France. Something happened to France. Independence guaranteed by Spain. Wow. Something mean. Something bad happened to France. That can only be good for me. <laughs> I'd love there to be a big world, world war over here. Looks like there's kind of some sort of war up here. Hmm, that's a... That's an intimidating Russia. At war with Sweden, but not Denmark. Is it Sweden? Sweden is no longer underneath Denmark? Oh, it rats. I lose a stability. I guess I can't really boost that stability quite yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it lost. Core my homeland. Pick up every new merchant. And also a national manpower modifier. Nice. This one is kind of useful, this one is the very useful one. The tax modifier. So what to do with this new merchant? I do believe... I can gather taxes in Japan. Already have someone transferring up to Japan. This is guaranteedly going that way. There's no power in this trade node, because. These guys are both transferring power in that direction. So... My best bets... Quite possibly... See, I can't transfer this down to Mexico. Yeah, it's probably... Collecting taxes from here. But the reason that I did that was not. The reason that I really wanted that was this. I'm now gaining points for merchant. See so yeah. that? Uh, previously, I didn't have any points from Merchant, and now I'm gaining points from Merchant. So that's good. Hmm. I'm not going to be building any ships anytime soon. But I'm also not going to be doing any diplomatic tech. I am, on the other hand, going to be doing military tech. So... I'll go ahead and uh, get the military tech reduction. Now, I have a colonist not doing anything. However, five colonies is about as many as I want. So I'm going to go ahead and send him here. The reason I'm going to send him here is it takes a long time for him to get there, so I want him to have the most impact, which would probably come from being there the longest. Yeah. So what to do for money? The Iroquois probably don't have any money. The Inca definitely don't have any money. The Mali probably still have some money. And I can go ahead and declare on them and... Well, I, I'm pretty sure they still have some money. Let's go ahead and just make sure. Uh, 
Uh, they don't have a lot. They have some, with the Swahili being the real money bags. And I still can't declare on the Swahili without taking that huge stability hit for not having a CB. If I had taken that other path, idea path, I would have a CB against them. They're, they're going to be the long-term goal. Right now I'm going to recall this diplomat. And then annex. And that's, that's what my diplomats are doing right now. It's just a little bit more important. Whoa, whoa, whoa. not cool. I think I had four troops stationed there. Uh, no, because I never sent them. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I send them now. How long until my diplomat's done? Okay, so in that many days, I send him to the Cherokee. And then I will be down on diplomatic interactions so that I could go and annex the Iroquois if I felt like it. I definitely want to get the Japan is united. The question is, do I want to take it when it won't actually help my legitimacy? Ooh, gaining, oh my. So I get to choose. Do I want to reduce my military technology cost? My military and diplomatic? Hmm. If you'd asked me before, I would have said just jump on the diplomatic. But if I do this, I'll actually be buying military tech and using that military technology reduction. So, and getting up there in army, getting up there in military, I'm at 11, Portugal's at 16, 16, 16. I need to get up there in military strength. Naval strength, less important because I'll have all of my troops stationed before I declare the war. I'll probably get two military techs out of this reduction. If you look here. It's pretty cheap, so... Although, I don't have five below any of my neighbors. I'm only four below now, so I only get 20 reduction for neighborhood. It's fine. So that would give me, that, that mission would give me a CB over here. I really don't want to take them over. They have a gigantic base tax, just ginorm ginormous. But my missionary strength should be pretty high. I don't. So I have one. And then I, I could always pick up another missionary strike here. I still don't think I'll be able to convert them. As much as this is a super profitable province. If I can't ever convert them, it's just not worth it to have religious disunity affecting my entire nation for one province. That's just not worth it. Now as for over here, that's a different story. These guys are Hindu. I can probably... still super high base tax. I don't know. I just 
just don't think it's worth it to have religious disunity. Because that affects the that affects revolt risk in your entire nation. Yeah, just not value. I'm not gonna do it. I am gonna, however, leave my stability where it is in case I get a positive stability event. I think two stability is where I want to keep it. Ooh, fur. Fur is valuable. Positive stability, because if you get a positive stability event, you want to be able to take it. And right now, I, I wouldn't really be able to take it. So let's look at the two options. These guys have six defensive morale, four offensive morale. These guys have six offensive morale and three defensive morale. Well, they have three offensive fire. They have no offensive fire. Hmm. They have offensive shock. These are better. I at first thought the free shooters would be better because of that huge offensive morale, but really, these guys have five, they have three offensive fire and two offensive shock, and these only have four offensive shock. These seem better. I'll go ahead and take them and hope that I don't get a revolt until next month. Looks like I managed to get a little bit lucky there. They now have a little bit of morale so they won't instantaneously die. All of my spread out troops. Okay. I have a lot of uh, little navies. I don't want these little navies. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge my little navies. That guy's fine. Fine, fine. Mm, less fine. Looks like about it. For navies. And I'm running a positive income. I don't want to be running a positive income. Probably. What can I do to start running a deficit? Just doing a little bit of micro here. What can I do to run a deficit? I can buy another colony. Currently have four. I could split these guys up and colonize here. That seems like a good investment. I'll do that. Other things I could have done is get a better advisor, but... I think this is a little bit better. Hmm. Don't really need the prestige. I'll go ahead and get the money, although that's not super duper important. My truce with the... Molly expires in just a little bit of time. So as soon as these are done annexing, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I, oh crap. <laughs> that was close. Almost forgot to send that annex in. That would have been really embarrassing considering how long I talked about making sure to get that done. But, crisis averted. 
So as soon as this is done, I will send him to go to war with the Mali. Question is, do I immediately want to... take this mission that Japan is united? I do like the changes. I'm not going to be using the benefit of the Shogunate at all. And this would give me the ability to swap into a different ruler or type. As a Shogunate, you can't swap out. But as a feudal monarchy, I, I would be able to. Hmm. It's an interesting question. Does Portugal mark me as a rival net? No! Portugal has me as threatened. That means that Portugal is, 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 um, is fine with being my ally. That makes that a very important objective. Looks like Spain's still at war with these guys. Kind of hoping Spain takes all that. Do the Incas control the Spanish province? That's what I was talking about. When you're not a city yet, all you have to do is walk through it and you instantly occupy it. So, there's that. Yeah, so I'm going to become an ally with Portugal. If they're threatened, they'll ally with me. I'll be down to three diplomatic relationships when I get those two Japanese damios. And then I'll get back up to four. Yeah, I should swap out of the Shogunate. I don't know. I'll, I'll lose the potential boost of legitimacy, but with the heir with a strong claim. Wow. Austria is kicking ass and taking names. Oh no. This is a bad reform. I really don't know. I honestly haven't been paying any attention to the... I see. It's just one on the chain. To uniting the Holy Roman Empire into one country. If that happened, Austria would be a monster. I don't know how it ever beat Austria. Because if you go to the Holy Roman Empire view... It would just unite all of this into one. So Austria needs to get in a war. I really don't know how to get in a war, how to get Austria into a war. But aligning with Portugal might be a good start. Portugal doesn't have as much strength as they did. They've got more of this African strength. I don't know. I don't know where else. I guess they're, they're getting. Yeah, Portugal is a natural ally for me. They see it too. So, as soon as these two diplomats are done, one of them is going to go improve relationship with... Well, how do I feel about Portugal? I don't particularly like them. <clears throat> They're no longer allied with Spain, so they've got to be shitting bricks about that. Maybe... They'll improve relationship with me if I improve relationship with them. I'm definitely a world player now that I'm westernized and starting to catch up in military tech. No one can deny that. Hmm. My truce with, uh... The Mali is up. So I can go ahead and declare on them again. Let me just make sure one more time that they have money. Noagi over in Asia, well, Asia, Russia, has money. Mali, only a little bit of money. So I'm going to lose legitimacy from these annexation, but it's going to gain back. Hmm. 
Nothing I could do against Nogi. Take forever to get over there. Be much more like go on Swahili here. I have no CB. Take two stability to declare on them. I could take a province, then I could get a CB. Maybe this province. It's really profitable. Huh. No. Probably better to just declare on the Mali. They're still doing coalitions against France. That's fine. I'm actually gonna, I mean, the Mali, I'm actually gonna give them some time. They're just gonna gain money. I'll get all the money from them later. It seems better to go and improve relations with Portugal. And try to get them to improve relations with me so that I can get an alliance with them. I I'd love to be someone's friend, anyone's friend. We need a shakeup. Oh, thanks. That's just, that's just great. I'll leave it there again because I want to spend this st um, these points on on technology. I'm really behind in administrative tech. Not that like not that it's that important. Really, just the idea groups are important. That all being said, I think. I think that I'm going to go ahead and take this mission, the Japan is United mission. Er... First let's see what they gave me. They gave me some troops. Okay. No boats. Okay. No boats. I'm cool with that. Thought they'd give me some boats. <clears throat> Quite a bit of nice provinces, though. All of Japan is, is united, and also over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I have only three out of eight. So when I go in being something else... That should also reset... No, it didn't. No, it definitely didn't. I don't know why that other one reset it. But now I'm a feudal monarchy and I could change into something else. I'd like to be an administrative monarchy, but I need administrative rank 12 for that. But with that note, I do believe it is time to end this part. Take a little break for the day.